Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to learn about percentage. Percentages are used to calculate things like how much is the bank interest rate, how much something is cost when it's on sale, or how much sugar level you like for your milk tea. All of our examples are a real life example that's why percentage is very important and is used widely in different areas in mathematics a percentage or percent for short is a number ratio that represents a fraction that has a denominator of 100 no matter what the top number is and since percent has a denominator of 100 we will not write it as a fraction but instead we will just use a percent sign in fact, the word percent has a prefix per means for each or for every and the root word cent is a Latin word for 100. Therefore, percent literally means per hundred. For example, this number 50 here has a percent sign next to it. Therefore, we can read it as 50%. And because percent is just a fraction that has a denominator of 100, therefore 50% is just equal to 50 over 100. Another example, number 10 has a percent sign next to it, therefore we can read it as a 10% and we can convert it to a fraction with a denominator of 100. So 10% is just equal to 10% over 100 now is it possible to have a zero percent yes and zero percent would just mean zero over 100 meaning its value is just zero how about 100 percent well 100 percent means 100 over 100 as you can see the numerator and denominator is the same therefore this is a whole fraction and the fraction value is 1. Now let's have a visual representation of these percentages. This grid right here has 100 squares and 50 squares are shaded with red. Therefore 50% of the squares are shaded. Now how about we have 10 of the squares are shaded. What is the percentage of the shaded region? Mm -hmm. Since 10 out of 100 squares are shaded, this means that the fraction is 10 over 100, meaning 10% are shaded. Now, if we have this grid with 100 squares and no squares or zero squares are shaded, therefore the percentage of the shaded region is 0%. And if all of the square in the grid are shaded, this means that the percentage of the shaded region is 100%. Now since we know that percent is just a fraction that has a denominator of 100, and we also know that fractions can be converted into decimals by dividing the numerator and the denominator, therefore percentage can also be written as decimal. Now there are two ways to convert percent to decimals. First method is to convert first the percent into fraction form and then convert it into decimals. For example, 35% is just equal to 35 over 100, right? So to convert it to decimal, we just need to divide the numerator by its denominator. Now since 100 is greater than 35, we need to put decimal point and add 0 to the number 35 so it will look like this. So if we ignore decimal point then it will look like 3500 divided 100. So 3500 divided by 100 is 35. But that's not our final answer since we have a decimal point. So to have a correct answer we just need to include the decimal point in our answer. We put it directly above the decimal point in our problem. 
Now the answer becomes 0.35 or to write properly it is 0.35. Therefore, the fraction 35 over 100 when converted the decimal is 0.35. As you can see, the digit 5 on the decimal number 0.35 is in hundreds place and 0.35 means 35 hundreds. Therefore, we can write 35% into fraction 35 over 100 or as a decimal 0.35. So that's the first method on converting percentage to a decimal. It is quite long and tricky. Now for the second method, it is like a shortcut on converting percentage to decimal. For the second method, we need to write the number first in percent. For example, we have 35%. Next, we need to put decimal point after the ones place. So in the number 35, the ones place is the digit 5. Next is, move the decimal point two places to the left, meaning away from the percent sign. And then after you, you move the decimal point, remove the percent sign. Therefore, you now have a decimal number which is 0.35. So as you can see, we got the same answer using the two methods. So this method is just a shortcut on converting percentage to decimal. Now let's have another example to further understand this topic. Let's convert 99% to decimal. First step, we need to put decimal point next to the ones place. Next step. Move the decimal point two places to the left, meaning away from the percent sign. Last step, erase the percent sign. Therefore, 99% when converted to decimal is 0 0.99. What if our number is just one digit number? For example, we have 9%. To convert it into decimal, Put decimal point after the ones digit and then move two places to the left since tens place is missing therefore we need to put zero as a placeholder so the decimal value of nine percent is 0 0.09 so that's what percentage is all about that's it guys, did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned a lot about percentage. Also, you can watch other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.